And this morning, it's my pleasure to introduce to you Legend Finer. Legend, would you share with our church family a little bit of your testimony this morning? Throughout my life, my family has gone to church. I have prayed at meal times, and occasionally I glance through the pages of my Bible. I believed that God was real, but I made no real effort to live righteously or to pursue a relationship with Christ. I sinned with no concern for the consequences because I had allowed myself to think that just belief in God was enough to grant me salvation. I lived many years of my life focused on my own will, with God's will always being an afterthought. In 17 years, I had never once truly repented of my sins because I was blinded by the desires of the flesh. I only prayed so I could temporarily clear my conscience before continuing to fall back into sin. The way that I was living left me completely empty inside, and I felt that my life was meaningless. For a long time, I searched fruitlessly for some purpose in my life, until finally, one day this February, I opened my Bible. I began studying the Bible every day, and the Lord led me closer to Him. I prayed multiple times each day for God's guidance, and He truly began working wonders in my life, leading me to faith. On March 19th, I was preparing to pray before lunch when the Lord touched my heart. My eyes were open, and I was overcome with the true weight of my sins Hmm. and what the Lord Jesus Christ had done for a sinner like me. At that moment, I prayed to God for forgiveness and truly repented of my sins. I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I know that I am saved by the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe in the good news of the gospel, that God sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to live a perfect, sinless life, that He bled and died on the cross for my sins and the sins of the world, and that He rose again on the third day, victorious over death. I believe that through Christ's death and resurrection, our sins are forgiven, and we have new life, eternal life, with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I thank the Lord every day for what He has done in my life, how He has saved me, changed me, and brought purpose to my life. I am thankful that God has continued to draw me closer to Him through multiple different scriptures and ministries. One verse that has really encouraged me as I walk with God is Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I have learned to trust in Christ no matter what happens, because he is always faithful and loving. I will always be thankful for what he has done for me. I look forward to spending eternity with my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Legend, I've seen what God has done through the power of the scriptures. And I testify, like you, that he has changed your life. And uh, it's just amazing to me the work and the power of the scriptures. And the scriptures alone, sola scriptoria, to change a person's life and the power of the Holy Spirit. And I just want to ask one more time, are you 100% confident of the work Jesus Christ did on the cross to save you from your sins and you have received that? Yes. I am confident as well. Based on your profession of faith, my brother, it is my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, buried in the likeness of his death, raised in the likeness of his resurrection. Praise God. Praise God, man.